In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on the night before he was to suffer, Jesus celebrated the Last Supper and gave to us his body and blood as his greatest legacy for all of us. We celebrate his love for all of us as we, as we start this holiest moment in our liturgical calendar. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
O God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the Church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel on the 10th of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, a piece for each household. If a family too small for the whole lamb, you shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th of this month. And then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, you shall, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. And it shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat it roasted, its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins gird, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord, but the blood will mark the house where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over it. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate the pilgrimage to the Lord a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our blessing cup is a communion with the word of Christ. Our blessing cup shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me the cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord our blessing cup is a communion with the blood Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. To you I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. 
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I receive from the Lord what I also hand on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Are you ready for the Holy Gospel according to John? Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, the son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. But during supper, fully aware that the Father had put all things into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin, he began to wash the disciples' feet, and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus asked to him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. And then Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need to accept to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you were clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you were clean. So when he had washed their feet, he put his garment back on and reclined at table again. He said to them, do you realize what I have done for you? He called me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. I therefore, the master and teacher, have voiced your feet. You ought to voice one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. These days, our whole world is undergoing perhaps one of the most difficult experiences in our lifetime because of the coronavirus. But while it brought unimaginable death and suffering, 
it has also brought about amazing, brought about amazing tales of courage and sacrifice. Now I, I read one of such stories about what's becoming a nightly ritual in New York City. And I think it's just plain wonderful. Now at 7 p.m. every night, New Yorkers around the area step onto their balconies, open their windows, or stand in their front ports and give New York health care workers what amounts to a standing ovation. They clap, cheer, you whistle, blow some horns, bang pots and pans, make noise. All this to honor the amazing men and women, doctors, nurses, physician assistants, anyone in the healthcare industry who are risking their lives to care for their neighbors during this pandemic, who are giving themselves in humble service, out of duty or out of love, giving themselves to the full, sometimes even to the point of death. Now the story of these amazing frontliners in New York and around our world remind me of a God who we celebrate today. A God who encounters us across the supper table on that first Holy Thursday who kneels on the floor washing his disciples' feet and hands, hands himself over to us as lowly food and drink. It reminds me of a God who out of love has really sacrificed and died on the cross so that we may have life. Now my dear brothers and sisters, tonight we start the holiest and the greatest celebration within our liturgical calendar. We celebrate the mystery of the sacred triduum. Now triduum means three days. It is one single celebration celebrated within three days in which we pray and reflect on the mystery of Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection. And on this night, at the Last Supper, on that first Holy Thursday, on that evening before he was about to hand himself over, Jesus knows that he was about to die. He wants to leave his disciples and to all of us what is most important for him what he values most and he gives us three precious gifts as a church as his everlasting legacy to us first his commandment of fraternal love and charity second the gift of the eucharist and third, the gift of priesthood. Now first, he shows us the priority of humble, loving service. Now in the gospel we just heard, Jesus tells, tells us about Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. And out of the four gospels, only Saint John 
does not tell us about the institution of the Eucharist. He tells us instead about the washing of the feet. And so while they were at supper, Jesus left the table, took off his outer garment, tied a towel around his waist, poured water in, into the basin, stooped down on the floor, knelt before the disciples and began to wash his disciples' feet. And after he had washed their feet, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done? If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. Now by washing his disciples' feet, Jesus shows us the priority of loving, humble service. Washing the feet of the guests at dinner time was in Jesus' time one of the dirtiest tasks that only a servant would do. And yet Jesus did it to his disciples. He became a slave to them. And in doing so, he gave a beautiful example of loving, humble service. He gave a beautiful example of fraternal love. And he commanded his followers to do it as well. He said, I have given you a model to follow so that as I have done for you, you should also do. Now second, Jesus gives us the gift of the Holy Eucharist. In the second reading from the first letter of from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, St. Paul tells us that on the night before he died, Jesus took bread, said a blessing, and gave it to his disciples and said, This is my body. He took the cup, filled with wine, said a blessing, and gave it to his disciples and said, This is my blood. Here, he gave the gift of the Holy Eucharist, the precious gift of the Mass, the, the gift of the Blessed Sacrament. And he said to them and to all of us, Do this in remembrance of me. And so my brothers and sisters, every single Mass that we celebrate, like we do today, renews the precious gift of His body and blood at the Last Supper. And finally, in giving us the commandment to love and service and the gift of Eucharist, Jesus also gives us the gift of the priesthood, the sacrament of holy orders. He gives us the priesthood so that the ministry of loving, humble service and the Eucharist can continue. And so, when we think about it, in a very real sense, the Eucharist, the foot washing, the priesthood have one and the same meaning. They remind us 
through the person of Jesus, of a God who gave himself totally to us, who loved us with, with an unbelievable love, who loved us beyond any conceivable limits. Also, it reminds us that the gift of the Eucharist and the gift of the priesthood and the ministry of service are intimately connected together. We cannot live out meaningfully one without the other. Celebrating the Eucharist and doing our priestly ministry impel us to give ourselves in loving, humble service and giving ourselves in loving, humble service gives concrete meaning to the Eucharist and the priesthood. Esto significa, mis hermanos y hermanas, que cada vez que entregarnos por amor en un servicio humilde, cada vez que recibimos su cuerpo y su sangre en la Eucaristía, nos identificamos más profundamente con Dios que nos ama con un amor incondicional, que se entrega a sí mismo y nos manda. Les he dado ejemplo para que lo que yo he hecho con ustedes, también ustedes lo hagan. My dear friends, this is what we celebrate tonight. That this is what is being left of us as an everlasting legacy by Jesus. He has left us his precious gift of the Eucharist, of the priesthood, and his commandment of brotherly love and service. Tonight, as we begin our three-day celebration of our redemption, we approach our saving God with the needs of our world. Pray, <clears throat> pray for the recovery of those who are suffering in the current outbreak of sickness, for the repose of the souls of all who have died in the sickness around the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our health professionals, public officials, medical researchers who are serving the common good in this difficult time. For the guidance of the Holy Spirit in their work, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For a deeper faith and trust in God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our compassionate Father would touch all affected by the current outbreak with healing and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all priests, living, and deceased who have served our parishes, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, you always have at heart the salvation of your people. Hear our prayers and the needs they represent, and answer them as you will, through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. What do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I am your 
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh, that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
We sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Song tools, song tools, song tools, Dominus Deus Sabaoth. Plenis uncelli et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, hosanna in excelsis. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, this holy and unblemished sacrifice, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Michael our Bishop, and all those who hold him to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise or the offering for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls, in the hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyp Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysonogos, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of your service, that of your whole family, which we make to you as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate, order our days and your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve these offerings in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all that is today he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you O god almighty father giving thanks he said a blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Mm -hmm. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to you, to your glor glorious majesty, from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation of the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and those who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us, also your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicite, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. He'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit, spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. On this day, we turn this peccatamundi, miserere nobis. On this day, we turn this peccatamundi, miserere Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the land. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us now recite together the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. After this Mass, we are going to have a one hour of adoration uh, online. And, and we invite you to, to take the time also to be with, uh, with our God in prayer um, as we continue to pray for our world uh, experiencing this unusual time. Uh, once again, I would like to uh, invite all of you uh, for, uh, uh, of our services uh, the, uh, for Good Friday, which will start at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow uh, on April 11, uh, Easter Vigil at 8.30 p.m. And on April 12, uh, at 11 a.m., uh, the Mass for the Easter Sunday. And again, we remind you to join, on, join us on Facebook. Uh, and Mass will be also up, up, uploaded on YouTube. Uh, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord who has given us his body and blood bless you and comfort you so that you will be you will experience his saving passion. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God be upon you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by the life you live. Thanks be to God. Bendito, bendito, bendito sea Dios. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Bendito, bendito, bendito sea Dios.
We are now We are now going to end our one hour of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and for those who who joined with us and stayed with uh, with us uh, for quiet prayer of quiet and prayer and spend time with the Lord we thank you and we may God bless you and your family glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night.